This was a canoe I built about three to four years ago, and it was kind of an experimental canoe because I did not use marine grade plywood. I used a plywood that I purchased at Home Depot, and it was an underlayment ply that used uh, waterproof glue, but it was about five millimeters thick. So I epoxied the outside and the inside. I also put a six ounce fiberglass cloth uh, on the outside, and it's held up great. I took some videos of when I took my family out last weekend, and um, I also are going to have some still shots at the end with voiceovers. So sit back and enjoy, and thanks so much for watching my videos. Hold tight. babies hi you having fun <laughs> Mommy's right here. Hi. Look, a bird flying. That's right, Shiloh. Birdie. Mimi, Papa here too. Don't stand up. Sit down. Doing so good. Okay, <laughs> it goes, Mimi, look at me. <laughs> You are boating. Kayla. Oh, wow.
in this picture you can see the seat that I built for the canoe. It's not attached to the canoe. And the reason why I designed it that way is so that I can move it around based off the amount of people in the boat. So if I'm riding solo in the boat, I'd normally position it in the, toward the center. Whereas we add more people, like my wife joined us and my two little girls, I can move uh, the seat further to the rear of the canoe to help redistribute the weight. Now this little boat only weighs about 50 pounds and it's about 12 feet long. But right now it's holding about 430 pounds worth of weight. And there's about six inches of freeboard left there on the side of the boat. So it's a great little boat for the family. If you want some more information about how I built this boat or some plans, please let me know in the comment section below. And maybe I'll do another video of how I built the boat. Of course, no canoe trip is complete without a selfie. So my wife had to take one of those. So anyways, thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and to like and comment.